Hey everyone, I hope you are doing well. We are one month away from the last video that I've done, which was before the FOMC and this huge melt up we call a huge cup and handle in our last videos. And we were more bullish than bearish, everybody. I will show you today what I have done on with some of the accounts that migrated from our Finkel Swim account to Schwab, about $200,000 plus some Coinbase account, what I do, what I'm thinking, where is the S&P going from now on to the end of the year and leading next year to the most important is the elections. So as the fear of inflation is getting lower, everybody, and the rates are going down with the bonds going up, let's look at the market. I want to show you why I think within the next 12 months, at least until the elections happen, why I think cryptos is going to be a lot stronger, a lot more profitable for you than the S&P. And I'm going to prove it to you in the chart with the indicators that we use with real money. Now, don't forget the accounts that I show you it's for educational purposes. There's no meaning of flexing. The reason I'm doing this is because there's a tons of YouTubers that do analysis or people who develop tools, but you never, never see them showing you real account. And real accounts, that's all I've done all my life. You guys have been trading since I'm 21. I'm 52 soon. The soul I'm doing, trading in the stock market, cryptos, being an entrepreneur, being a software developer, we are trying to show you that we put our money where our mouth is by doing and using personally our own indicators with our own accounts. So let's go. I hope this analysis will help you going forward the same way it helped you before the FOMC. And thanks for the feedback for this video. So let's go. Let's go deep. So uh, this is all the accounts at Schwab. So it's about 208,000 couple of retirement accounts uh, and uh, uh, 100,000 that we started deploying everybody. So let's look at the charts. Let's look at the situation of the S&P versus Bitcoin. And I'll show you some of my crypto portfolio and why I think cryptos might be the best place on retracement. So look at what we have here. We have a very powerful setup in the market. So we had the lower high, lower high, lower high, lower low, lower low, and the down channel. That cup from the handle broke, right? But look what's coming. It's coming right to huge resistance here on our edges of the calculator and the institutional red zone here. So you have the 100% rejection calculator at about 47.50 to this 46.20. So this 46.20, uh, sorry, it's SPX. And if you go back on the left side, remember double top head here, we had the huge shoulder starting here, huge shoulder starting here. Guess what? We are coming for a triple top retest towards that 46.25, 46.50 to that 47.50. And I think it'll be a huge hurdle there. It will, it will be a, a, a big problem. See if they get that head. Eventually, here's what we have to look at. You have a higher low here. You have a head here and an inverted and shoulder here. So that huge trend line at one point might come in play and retest towards roughly the 41, uh, 4100, let's call it now, okay? 4100, right? It is a possibility before March that we have one more retest. It is possible of one more retest. But let's say we don't retest. And let's say we keep on grinding higher highs, higher lows. And let's say for sake of the conversation that the SPX go all the way to 5,500 within the next year or two, okay? Not impossible, you know, breaks the round number over time and it's 4,500. 
Well, if you look at from here, if you look he from here, the distance from where we are to that crazy number within the next year, that's, that, 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 that's about 20% left. If you look from where we are right there today, right, which is roughly 4,500 and we say 4,750, right, that's 5%. So I know that the market from my edges resistance is going to be left with 5 to 20% of juice, right? And that would be a fantastic scenario even if it goes at 5,500. But now let me show you Bitcoin. And by the way, we still have lower high from here to here. And still, we have to see how it's going to behave if it's doing a double top, lower high, triple top from the shoulder, as I mentioned here, right? So now let's compare that to Bitcoin, right? And the crypto market. If you look at Bitcoin, this is a different divergence here because here we have higher highs and we have higher low, unlike the SPX where I showed you there was lower high, lower lows. So here's what I'm going to look at for the cryptos. I'm going to look where the FTX debacle started breaking. We started breaking around here, everyone. And we started breaking at around roughly, we're going to call it for simplicity, 40K. 40K, if we can regain this 40K, we should break and go towards 4850 area there. Let's, let's call it the first huge resistance of Bitcoin. So my point is, everybody is waiting for the ETF, right? This Bitcoin ETF. And I think they might push it as long as possible, especially the SEC. And I think it might create a pullback on the news. So hold on, on the news, there's possibly the day that they gave, the, oh, okay, it's finally there because it was really anticipated already. Look at that huge move here from 24,000 and we are approaching 40,000. So it's it's over 50% move, right, on Bitcoin already. I think they might sell the news. If we see a retest of 31 to 34 here, for everything in that zone, 30, 34, it will be a huge opportunity to retest and break the 50k right because what's going to happen guys you have to understand is we are the one trillion market cap now if all the institution comes according to kathy woods yesterday on an interview at cnbc it could be a 25 trillion market cap within the next 10 years by 2030 so that will be the next seven years that's a 25x possible in market cap versus the huge potential I showed you on the SPX, which is only 5 to 20%. Where do you think your money is going to have the highest velocity? Your money is going to have the highest velocity in crypto. Of course, I'm concerned like you guys of custody, you know, if Coinbase gets hacked, like uh, FTX, if they blow up, you know, but remember, if you don't have your key control of your key, you don't have control of your crypto. So if your money is in Coinbase, but not in Coinbase wallet, you don't really control your cryptos. If you want to be your own bank, open the Coinbase wallet and control your cryptos, your spot cryptos. Now, if you are afraid and you think that my themes make sense here, which I will go deeper into our annual event in December, which is the 2024 game plan, right? If it makes sense, then, and you're afraid of getting into spot cryptos and being at Coinbase and custody and everything, then yeah, alternatively, you can look at uh, some of our uh, play here in our watch list, you know, that are crypto friendly, and for instance, Coinbase, uh, the, the, the miners starts waking up, you know, those are 
stocks. But Coinbase are preferred because there's money and there's real product and there's real profits and real uh, employees. Another one that is interesting is this one from Fidelity. See, you have to wake up here. Like BlackRock is filing for ETF, the biggest equity firm in the world. BlackRock is doing a filing for Bitcoin and Ethereum. Fidelity has product. French bank, European banks, the entire world, when this spot ETF comes, is going to start indexing everything. Water, tea, water, tea, pick and choose at night what you take. So, my opinion, right? This is going to be the big, big things because. I think everything that is going to be con connected to the consumer is going to be, be rough for a year or two. Even though we might have like 100 years ago, the crazy late uh, 1920s, you know, the go-go years, the crazy years, right? Where everything was melting up. I think crypto will be will melt up one last time. And you know what? I will not be surprised 2027 or the next election after that one. So it'll be 2028. I will not be surprised that they come and regulate those cryptos and all the small ones are out of business. Like they, they, are, they are being removed from the exchanges and we might be left into five or 10 cryptos at the end and clean up everything. But I think we still have a shot at a crazy run in cryptos, right? And of course, if you look at the allocation I was showing you, I don't know if you saw here, but look, I have $21,000 here. I have um, another eight and we have another 15. So we have 32, 32, 46, almost $50,000 we are going to be in cryptos. So you have to look what, what crypto, you know, what are you comfortable for cryptos? You know, like here you can see some of our portfolio, Mark, Solana, I've done extremely well. Got Solana at very, very, uh, very low price. Like it was 18 and uh, it was really uh, a cool, cool for us on the Solana, right? Um, Cardano, it's okay. I mean, I bought a lot at 24 cents, 29 cents. It's not really moving much. It's not the best project. AVAX, it's flying, almost going to be a triple. Matic, a double. Dodge, a little bit of Dodge. I'm thinking like if um, Elon Musk is able to integrate it with Twitter, it'll be good. But I want to show you, even though I'm not showing you all my accounts, guys, right? Because obviously we live in a crazy world. Privacy is important. So I, ju I just want to show you and get you engaged, you know, that really I do what I said and, and my thinking goes through my doing, through putting my own money at, 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 in, in the line. If you see still till the end of the year, I'm going to run most of the money into uh, uh, stocks, ETF, et cetera, et cetera. And I have very particular themes that I'm playing right now, right? And this is not a bad day. Look, value day change, 1,200, 1,100, 2,000. You're making $2,400 doing nothing. It's passively just because you choose the right stocks you know, using the calculator and, and the calculators, the double calculators, your probability rule of third, which is this one on the left, which you can get absolutely free if you text 95 to make sure that I'm giving you the right number, guys. But uh, that should be it. Uh, yeah, 954758, sorry. 954758, you can get the left calculator, absolutely free. It's a great calculator for swing trading and long-term investing. 
which you can put side by side with the uh, um, premium indicator with the institutional zones, with the probability uh, trend box, which is net buyer, net sellers from institutional major minor trend, which gives me the signal to go and buy yeah, say stocks for either day trading or long term and swinging trading, which is most of what I do. You know, most of our, uh, our funds as a family and investments are in tra swing trading and long term investing for asset and income. And then, of course, I do a little bit of day trading with the SPY options, right? All uh, the ES futures. And nothing else. You know, I'm very. You know, I'm getting older. <laughs> I simplified everything in a very systematic way, everyone, right? So I think this is going to be uh, uh, the play, the next drop on cryptos, if it goes back to institutional zone 30, 31.8. So anything between this uh, 30, 33, 32.5, I think is going to be a fantastic uh, uh, buy. And I think we will have a shot in the S&P, a drop, and in Bitcoin, maybe after the news of the ETF. Because as I told you last time, my game plan is to count the elections as follow. November is the elections. And you count about seven to nine months after, before that, sorry. So you go October, September, August, July, right? June, right? And before that, May, right? April and March, February, we'll have our 2024 weekly boot camp here, right? January, December, and now we're in November, right? So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And I think between December, February, March, we might get a huge pullback one last time. And then slowly but surely, we might get sideways in the market, waiting for the president or the new policies to come out. And I think during that waiting time, cryptos will be very, very powerful. And I will come with more cryptos, videos, more analysis on specific cryptos, their market cap. You know, I have a portfolio just for the small cryptos, you know, uh, that I play with, uh, that I've done very well with some of them, like rendered, um, injective, uh, immune, IMX. You know, I've done a couple of great plays like this already. And I, I will continue sharing stuff with you guys. But I am really looking at cryptos, I think, overall to lead the path because of Ethereum and become. And by the way, I think Ethereum is very underrated right now. Ethereum is just not getting the respect again that it deserves. And I think when this, if we're, when we are going to shift the narrative from Bitcoin ETF to Ethereum ETF, everything is going to explode for uh, the S&P, SPX versus BTC versus Ethereum, right? So I hope it was helpful, everybody, you know, the, the stuff we do with real money. Also, don't forget, we are approaching Thanksgiving. Check your email, check your text. If you are new to our community or you left the community, we have a special for you for Thanksgiving, and the only way you can get it is by get, checking your emails, and, and it's not going to be public, and on your text, on the text service. So don't forget, check all of these guys, because this is something that you will regret you didn't take advantage of, okay? To get the tools, the master mentorship program, and the live room, you know, we're in the live room every day, trading, looking at trade ideas, crypto ideas together in the live environment with our power indicators. You take care, everybody. I hope it was helpful. And let us know in the comment below. What are you investing right now? What are your favorite stocks? What are your favorite cryptos? Share and brainstorm with others in the communities, in the Discord, in the school groups, 
everywhere that we have private group, guys, be engaged, guys. You know, when you start putting that energy to share with others, others shares back with you. And it's a cool thing when everybody shares. It's always better when more people brainstorm together. Hopefully that was helpful. Love you all, everybody. Take care.